And today, the trial starts for the man accused in the shootings at the Jewish Community Center and Village Shalom last year. But Fraser Glenn Cross, also known as Glenn Miller, is doing something that could set a new precedent. 41 Action News reporter Dia Wall explains. Good morning. Hey, good morning to you. It's been quick. Fraser Glenn Cross is getting a speedy trial. The avowed neo Nazi admitted to opening fire at two Jewish facilities in April of 2014. Now, as his death penalty trial begins, attorneys say this case may be the first of its kind. I, I can't find a, another similar case to this, so it shall uh, be precedent setting in many ways. Attorneys like Daniel Ross say it's highly unusual a defendant facing the death penalty would decide to represent himself or go pro se. It is a very unusual thing for someone to go pro se. And so what it says to me is that there is something wrong with him, that, that there is, uh, he's irrational, he's illogical. But that's what Fraser Glenn Cross told the Johnson County judge earlier this month. Cross, an ailing 74-year-old self-proclaimed white supremacist and anti-Semite, will represent himself as his capital murder trial starts today. In April of 2014, the world, even the president, responded to the crime. Cross has said that he committed close-range shootings of three people, a child, Reed Underwood, and his grandfather at the Jewish Community Center, and a mom, Terry Lamano, visiting her elderly mother at Village Shalom Care Center. All three were Christians. Cross, who has had numerous outbursts already in court, will represent himself, and that means questioning jurors and witnesses. In terms of the victim's family members, I think this is very uh, callous of this individual to do. He has said his motive is less about guilt and innocence and more about a hate message. And I think he's going to be trying to proclaim his message, and the prosecution and the judge are going to repeatedly say that that's not what this trial is about. The prosecution and Fraser Glenn Cross will begin jury selection at the Johnson County Courthouse at 9 a.m. DOL 41 Action News.